Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein has just announced that she will no longer run for reelection in 2024, which is a pretty major moment in history <laughs> because she was non-committal to uh, not running in 2024. Now uh, there are already talks about who will uh, you know, run for her position. Now she says in a statement, I'm announcing today I will not run for reelection in 2024, but intend to accomplish as much for California as I can through the end of next year when my term ends. She has accomplished a lot for herself during her time in the Senate, including increasing her net worth by $200 million. Public servant. Let me continue, she also says, I campaigned in 2018 on several priorities for California and the nation. Preventing and combating wildfires, mitigating the effects of record setting drought. No, if you tried all that, you totally Jesus failed. Jesus Christ, I would not list these things because every single thing that she has listed has been a failure. Responding to the homelessness crisis. Wow. And ensuring all Americans have access to affordable, high quality health care. To be That's fair- That's not even true. Well, to be fair, California does have a good Medicaid program. I remember when I was a kid and my parents didn't have money for health care. It was called Healthy Families back in the day and it was excellent. But that was the statewide program. Yeah, she's that's a federal employee. Uh, and she's against Medicare for all. That's yeah. just nothing but a lie. But it yeah. doesn't really matter because she didn't write that statement. Exactly, exactly. We'll get to who actually wrote it in a second. Um, Congress has enacted legislation on all of these topics over the past several years. But more needs to be done and I will continue these efforts. What legislation? What are you talking about? I just want to reiterate, she increased her net worth by $200 million as a public servant. Yeah. That and says a lot. And she didn't go in a billionaire. So it wasn't like, oh, she had 1.2 billion and now it's 1.4 billion. No, she, her family somehow, it's always a coincidence. Anytime you talk to a reporter in America, whenever it's a powerful person, oh, it's a coincidence. The campaign contributors got everything they ever wanted from her. Coincidence, she personally got $200 million, coincidence. Huh, well, a lot of coincidences with Diane Feinstein. What you're gonna see about her retirement from now on in mainstream media is, what a legendary figure Diane Feinstein. Okay, does she accomplish so much? And then so I always read the articles and I go, cuz I know the facts. Okay, what was so much that she accomplished? Over 30 years, okay? Um, assault weapons ban, super happy about it. She was part of the people that did that. You know why? Because she was involved in a in one of the worst, like one of the most historic shootings in American history, where Harvey Milk, uh, the uh, great LGBTQ fighter and mayor in San Francisco, was shot and killed. So that affected her personally. She's like, "Whoa, whoa, let's do something about this." Okay. So the CIA spying. She revealed uh, some of their spying, which was great. I'm, I'm, I'm happy about it. You know why? Because they spied it on her, and she even said it. We covered it on the Young yep, Turks at I the remember. time. She's like, "Oh well, before when you're spying on Americans, what's the big deal? But now senators, you do this to me? How dare you?" So all of a sudden, she cared. Two things in over 30 years, and only because they personally affected her. And so that is a miserable record. But they never, but wait a minute, is that all she did? No. That the crimes of omission in mainstream media is far worse. They don't tell you that she voted for giant tax cuts for the rich when Republicans were in charge. Mm -hmm. They don't tell you that she voted for the Iraq war. Mm -hmm. They don't tell you that her voting record is actually weirdly for one of the most progressive states in the country, California, one of the most conservative voting records you'll ever find Say on it. the Democratic side. It can, it, her, her voting record is so conservative that it's to the right of where I was when I was a liberal Republican growing up in the 80s and 90s. I mean, it's so conservative economically to the hilt. Yet, you will see now all of these great pronouncements of what a great Democratic left wing liberal leader she was, a historic figure. And finally, uh, and we're going to tell you what's going actually going on in a second. Finally, they say, uh, oh, and you have to remember, she's a woman. Wow, okay, she's like 50% of the population. Okay, well, but I didn't know she was that historic. Okay, if you're a woman who's a trendsetter and you actually fight for us and you fight for other women, then I love you. If you're a woman who's just a corporate stooge, I don't give a goddamn that you're a woman. Yeah, I totally agree with you on that. Now, in terms of why she's really stepping down, I'm sure most people know this, but for those who don't, she has 
been experiencing cognitive decline. It's been in the news, even some of her own staffers have spoken to the press about this, of course, with the protection of anonymity. But Christian Hall tweeted the following, asked by reporters about her announcement to resign. Senator Feinstein says, quote, if I haven't made that decision, I haven't released anything. A staffer then told the senator that a statement had been released. Feinstein responded saying, quote, I didn't know they put it out. No, and she's gone, guys. Yeah. Like she, people report talking to her one minute, getting an answer, the next minute getting a different answer because she already forgot. She, by the way, it's on tape. We've seen her do it on in hearings. She'll read a statement, and then just a little while later, she'll reread the statement because she forgot she just read it. Mm -hmm. So she's got, they've been propping her up all this time, and we're the bad guys for pointing it out. Look at her. She's, they're like, all right, Anna, you're finally retiring. She's like, no, I'm not. Well, what's going on? And look, I feel terrible for her in this state. I don't feel terrible for her career. Her career was miserable. Every, and every mainstream marine media reporter kissing her ass is lying to you. She's deeply conservative and was a terrible senator, okay? But now she's in massive mental decline. Please, somebody get her out of there. But no, they won't do it. Democrats need that seat. We're gonna pretend that she's totally fine mentally. Democrats are gonna have that seat, right? I know. It's not, but hold on. But I actually I disagree with you to some extent, Jake, because if she were to step down before her term is up, Gavin Newsom gets to appoint the next senator for that seat. I'm not a fan of Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom destroyed this state. Yeah, I said it. Gavin Newsom destroyed this state. The idea that Gavin Newsom is planning to run for president is the most hilarious thing in the world for me because he is the most target rich environment imaginable. There's endless video footage of like how disastrous things are in California. Homeboy thinks he's a winner. Anyway, I don't want him appointing. I know, so luckily he screwed up. So here's the situation, look guys, if we just cared about our side winning, meaning progressives, right? We wouldn't want Gavin Newsom appointing anyone. He's a huge corporate Democrat. The chance of him appointing another corporate stooge is gigantic. Yep. And that would give them an enormous advantage over a progressive like Katie Porter who's running for that race. So, but, but our job isn't to be that. Our job in this context is to do honest news reporting for you guys. Diane Feinstein is in mental decline. There's no question about it. So she shouldn't be there. So that's that's reality, okay? Whether it's advantageous to us or disadvantageous to us, that's still reality. Okay, now having said that, the part that he screwed up, Newsom is, he did this grandstanding because they knew they were just gonna wheel her in and wheel her out and they were gonna just keep her there and give it. And now her staffers are the ones who put out the statement. Her staffers are the ones that are voting in favor of corporations every single time. The whole system is set up for corruption. So Gavin Newsom said, well, if I was gonna replace her, this was a little while back. You know, I would, of course, very strongly consider an African American woman for that role. Did I get credit in the right demographics? Because I want to run for president. I need to win South Carolina. Got it. It doesn't matter because we're not going to replace her. Oops. So now it's super obvious what her state is. And the obvious African American woman choice is Barbara Lee. The problem is Barbara Lee's kind of progressive. So, uh oh, now he's stuck. Now he could say, ah, I was just kidding. I mean, I meant Adam Schiff, isn't he a, a black woman? Uh, because he's the most corporate Democrat there is in California. So they all want him, Newsom wants him, everybody that's in power wants Adam Schiff, okay? Mm -hmm. So now they're in a tight situation. Now if he screws over Barbara Lee and picks Adam Schiff or someone like Adam Schiff, well, that's gonna cost them. But is it, is it? Because corporate media will probably pretend he never even said it. Maybe, maybe they will. I just really don't want him appointing someone. I, I don't either. <laughs> I don't, trust I don't him either. At all. But the reality is, Diane Feinstein has no idea what's going on. And by the way, it's not just the Democratic Party. This is the twist. Okay, so corporate media is covering for it. That's not surprising either, right? They love the powerful. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're, they're ass kissing machine over in corporate media. So that's all of mainstream media. But right wing media is not going after her. You know what That's they do right. to Biden on all oh, mental decline, dementia, etc. And none of the Republicans have complained. Is that weird? That seems weird, right? You know why? Because on the only issues they care about, economic issues, she's on their side. That's why they haven't said a peep about Diane Feinstein. So we'll see what happens. Um, it seems like she is like hell bent on serving the rest of her term. I think that's likely to happen. Uh, but 
we'll fill you guys in as that story develops. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.